Hello, and welcome back to the Test Drive Podcast, brought to you by Sport Car USA. I'm your host, Lee Bodette. Here at Sport Car USA, we love all things fast. From stock Corvettes to tuned up Hellcats, we love it all. So buckle up and come for a ride on this week's episode of Test Drive. Well, hi, everybody. Lee Bodet, your host of Sport Car USA, and we have podcast number 27, right, Scott? Yes, sir. Okay, Scott Nickerson is with me, and Scott, we are in Lake George, New York. We, we're looking very casual. We don't yep. have our Sport Car USA hats and shirts on, but we are relaxed and having a great time in Lake George getting ready for the Adirondack National yep. Car Show this weekend. Yeah, so... Obviously, the surroundings are a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, we're in our Airbnb, which we are. Uh, is beautiful. This is probably one of the nicest places. It's I've amazing. Seen. Yeah. Every room has a bathroom. <laughs> uh, the bathrooms are beautiful. We're being everything, spoiled. Yeah, everything's really nice. Yeah, it's so. the Millbrook Manor uh, right here at Lake George. We're right on the lake, and I want to thank Holly very much. I'm wearing a shirt that, or excuse me, a hat that Holly gave us. Yep, she dropped and off a shirt. There, well, he's like wearing a shirt. Moments before we started recording, actually. Exactly, so, yeah, exactly. You know, throw them on. We are so excited to be here. It's our second year here at Sport Car USA being here, yep. right on the lake, as I mentioned. And tomorrow is really the big day. Today was kind of the setup day. We got we left the dealership, uh, Sport Car USA dealership, around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Not bad. It's like a two and a half, three hour drive. Yeah. We took Route 9N. Beautiful. And remember that. If you ever come to Lake George, Route 9N was outstanding. It was yep. beautiful. A lot of curves in the road. Uh, I was driving a... Dodge Charger 2022 Hellcat. Hellcat. Yeah, baby. Had the red key and the black key. We know all about that. And Dave Burns, who's with Sport Car USA, was driving the 2014 Mustang with 662 horsepower and going through those curves. Oh, baby, was that fun. Yeah, and that and that uh, that Shelby, the, it's a GT500. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's got a aftermarket Corsa exhaust. Mm-hmm. And if you're able to, to hear this when it comes out Friday and, you know, you're in the area, come check them out. Uh, but that, that exhaust sounds real nice. Oh, my goodness. It's like Dave was, like, really getting on it at times. And, of course, it's a – like, echoing yeah, yeah. The, the road up ahead. Was, and, and I've said this in the past that I just miss the manual transmission. I've got a 2020 yeah. Corvette, as most of you know, who have been watching this podcast, and it's automatic. And most of the cars now are automatic. Yep. I get it. You get there much quicker. Has a nice sound, but there's just something about a manual transmission with these hot sport cars. Yeah. Well, it's, it's fun because in those scenarios where you can't go flat out really fast, you can just downshift. Yeah. And get into it a little bit. Yeah. And at one time on our way here to Lake George from St. Albans, Vermont, which is where Sport Car USA is based, mm-hmm. I lost Dave, who had the Shelby GT500. I, I'm here like, where the heck is he? And then I just heard it. I heard yeah, the, the exhaust. It's like okay, and I looked up, and there he was taking a taking a hard right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a fun drive though through that area. It was. It was Ticonderoga. Yeah. Uh, a lot of like you said, curvy yeah. little mountain roads, and it's a good time. Yeah. So I mentioned today is the setup day here at the Adirondack oh. National Car Show, and uh, we did find the donut guy already. Oh my god, those cider. Donuts. Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely get the cider donut. So good. A lot of the vendors were arriving. Not all of them set up. Uh, right away, of course, uh, we set up our booth at Sport Car USA. But the donut guy, we found immediately. We remembered him from last year. Also found the lemonade guy. They were ready to go. Oh, yeah. Because we got there early, and yeah, a lot of vendors exactly. weren't even set up yet. Yeah, yeah. Especially food vendors. Yeah, absolutely. And they're calling for some pretty severe weather tonight in the early evening. We're hoping that things are going to be okay for the weekend, but we just don't know. Uh, I had a chance to talk to a new vendor here at Sport Car USA. He's from West Virginia. Again, we're in Lake George, New York, West Virginia. That's a pretty good haul. People come from all over the country to check out this Adirondack car show. And he had some really unique signs. Did you get a chance to go over there? I didn't explore too much today. I know tomorrow is going to be our big day of actually getting out and interviewing some folks. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. no, I didn't. I'll have to check that out. He had like the old SO signs, ESSO, yeah. and the mobile signs. Some golf signs. And he, and yeah, exactly. And he also had some Peanuts characters with signs that said, This is my garden. 
Hmm. The, that was the the uh, you know the writing on it. This is my garden. You'd see Lucy and Charlie Brown and Snoopy, and I thought those were really cool. He'll and I sell a lot of those. Yeah, things. exactly. Oh, he's gonna yeah. sell a ton of them. And I asked him. I said, "Did you create these? Did you do these?" And he said, "No, no. It's a company that I I'm involved with in uh, uh, West Virginia." Yep. And uh, just one of the many vendors here. We are expecting to have so much fun here this weekend. And so many vendors are rolling in as we speak. Again, we're at the beach house, so we're kind of like relaxing right now. Yep. Uh, but uh, it is just an amazing show. I had a chance, Scott, to walk down. I don't even know if it's called Main Street, but I, you know, it's Main Street. The Main Drag. The Main Drag. That's right. Yep. The Main Drag. And I took a video of the cars and the trucks that are just rolling in. Now, I've told you many times on this podcast, I'm not a huge fan of modifications. Yep. I like Don't originality. Stop. I like, yep. I've got my 66 Mustang at home. It's original. I tried to make it as original as possible, you know, yep. doing the history. But I got to tell you, being here, there's so many modified cars. And I think it's so cool. It's hard to not. Exactly. That. Exactly. Yeah. And they're doing the burnouts, which, of course, the Lake George police are not real happy, the sheriffs, right. Right. but they get away with it most of the time. They're a little, I think they're probably a little more lenient yeah. this time of year, yeah. this weekend, than yeah. they would normally be. You know. And again, today is just day one. It's not even officially open, if you will. Yeah, it's kind of a soft opening. Yeah, it's a very event. soft opening. A lot of people have to work on Friday. They're going to be arriving Friday afternoon. But the line of cars coming into this place was just incredible tomorrow like i said it's gonna be incredible uh as well but the vehicles i saw a ford maverick with an engine an engine coming out of the hood yeah you see stuff that you wouldn't have even like <laughs> thought of yeah yeah they're like weird pipe dreams that someone made up and then they actually yeah. made it into a vehicle i gotta tell you one of my favorite cars that i saw already today was remember vacation right the movie vacation right. yep. chevy chase right there was a station wagon which looked like the chevy chase station wagon in vacation and it had aunt edna on top of the oh, roof that's funny oh so that's what they were trying to do that's what they were trying to do that's it was funny. like a mummy it was but you knew it was aunt edna on top of the roof right. for those of you that have enjoyed that vac vacation movie and if you haven't you gotta watch you gotta watch that Yep. You just have to watch it. That's just iconic. So that that was that was one of my fun sights to see. And I mentioned the burnouts. It's it's early, but there were a couple that uh, that you know lit them up a little bit. I know. Usually it's Friday night. I remember we yeah. went to dinner. Yeah, and Friday Saturday night. night. Yeah. And we we were at a place that was kind of on that main drag. Yeah. And you, we had like a front row seat right. to see all the people doing burnouts, and they did them for a while, and then eventually the police department stepped yes. in and. Everyone booed them. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, you know, you know it's I gotta safety. Yeah, I gotta tell you, to be a police officer in Lake George this weekend. No thanks. No thanks. Because you, no you have to do your job to some degree, but exactly. then you're ruining the fun. So you know. And I think they look the other them. way. They look the other way in a lot of cases. Oh yeah. They, they know there are going to be burnouts. Yeah. They, they aren't like everybody. really jerks about it, but they, they do have a job to do. And I get it. it. There's a safety concern. Burnouts are really cool. But when you're really close to the sidewalk with people walking, right. you know, you could lose control out of one of these cars. Yeah. I mean, who knows? And that's like we kind of tried to do that with our last showcase is yeah. we had some people do burnouts and it wasn't always the safest. Yes, of conditions, exactly. Yeah. So we kind of had to make. <laughs> I, I guess I've never been a fan of burnouts. I've never really thought much about it. But I must tell you, when I was uh, watching today, I, I enjoyed it. All the smoke. <laughs> you know, and, and I wish I had the video camera. I wish I had the video of it because uh, with all that smoke, the car is coming in back of the burnout. Can't see. No, you can't see, but it is a really cool, cool image. Oh, of them driving. Yeah, exactly. Through the driving smoke. through the smoke. Yeah, I've I've yeah. seen videos too where people are doing burnouts for so long their tires get so hot that they pop. <laughs> oh too. my goodness! So hopefully we don't see any of that this yeah. weekend. And yeah. I was telling you when we were walking back is I keep hearing people do burnouts yeah. and like ripping down the street and I'm just so scared that I'm gonna hear a like a crash. Yeah. But so far. And the other thing is I've got a 2020 Corvette as most of you know, and a lot of people say, "Come on, Lee, light them up." Yeah. And I'm thinking, I don't want to 
pay. Yeah, do you know how expensive these tires are? Fifteen hundred dollars for new tires because I wanted to, you know, uh, show off a little bit, right? Yeah, I know someone who had a Camaro for a very short yeah. amount of time, and in the well, I think they they still have it, but they they had had it for a short amount of time, and they ripped through mm -hmm. a set of rear tires to the point yeah. where it was like on wires; they were shredded. Uh, and that was not cheap. But I think that's what this show is known for in one aspect, yeah. the burnouts. Oh, it's yeah. it's not acceptable, according to the sheriffs and the police department. Right. But, but it, happens. it happens, and it's just, to me, it's a riot, yep. an absolute riot. But some of the cars I saw today, and it's early, it's only the first day, people arriving. Um, again, the modifications. I mentioned the Ford Maverick. I, I've seen... Um, Ford Torinos. The amount and of things you see sticking out of hoods. Exactly. There's, <laughs> There's a all... lot of that. Yeah. There's a lot of that. And I think I saw like an AMC. Oh, my goodness. What? No, a Valiant. I saw a a Valiant, which is from, where is that? A Valiant. Is, uh, is it a Chrysler? Val I can't sure. even remember. You probably don't know because you're too young. No, I, I haven't experienced but a But I saw a Valiant today. We'll have to look that up because I can't tell you what the car manufacturer is. But that was something to be seen. I've said this many times. There are, and Valiant is one of them right there, right there, like a Pinto. There are vehicles that were manufactured that, a Pacer, they were manufactured and you at the time said, what an ugly vehicle. Who would buy one of those? Yep. What a piece of crap. Or like the Prowler too. Yeah, well, Prowler, that, that was pretty cool though, actually, I thought, yeah. I see. See, I think it's kind of the other way. Yeah. I think I'm in that part where it's kind of still in the weird, yeah. ugly phase yeah. for me. I mean, Chevrolet Vega. Yeah. That was one of the Chevrolet's top selling vehicles. You look at them at the time growing up. I'm a lot older than Scott. Yes. And it's like, I would never think about preserving one of them. I would never think about, right. oh, I'm going to, you know, hang on to this, right. be keep the so miles low. Someday. Exactly. Yeah. What happens is they find them in the junkyard. And they refurbish them. And then today, being in 2023, you look at them at a car show like today, yep. uh, the Adirondack Nationals, and oh, look at that. Yeah. Wow. That's well, something you don't see every day, too, because everyone, like you were saying, was like, <laughs> oh, this is just a car. Right? It's a riot. It's nothing special. Yeah, it is a riot. So at Sport Car USA, we have our booth there. We hope yep. that uh, some of you watching can stop in and see us we have uh um, down the hatches before we left we did be, we there is some yes yeah, so, supposed to be some severe weather coming yeah, apparently. in apparently yeah and uh, we had a vendor right next to us and they've been to the show for 10 years they do t-shirts right yeah and sweatshirts things the like official that. like merchandise yeah okay and they battened down their hatches before they left yep today but we are in the lower area of the i don't even know is this called a fairgrounds I'm not 100% sure. So the, the upper part is at Fort William Henry. That's the main. Yep. And where there's just kind of like a lower area. It's right next to a mini golf course. Actually. Right, right. We were talking right. about we should play in some mini golf. Yeah, we should, yeah. Um, but Maybe yeah, not it's just tonight. a lower area, and uh, it's actually the cover photo of our Sport Car USA calendar. Yeah. Uh, which I think we're going to get rid of a lot of those this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Just because the cover photo is like George. It's beautiful. Absolutely but. beautiful. So we are down below, and by tomorrow... This whole field will be loaded with vehicles. Yeah, I think around 7 a.m. cars start rolling they in. They really roll in. We get there around 8 a.m., Yeah, give those people a chance to start getting in there, yeah. and we're going to interview a lot of those people, I think. Yeah. So next week's podcast, be on the lookout for that. Should be a lot of interviews with some really cool people. It's probably going to be a longer one, honestly, Yeah. Uh, because there's going to be so many. I, I couldn't even see everything last year. Right. I had the drone up in the air, and that was the only way I could see everything. Yeah. We have lots of people to talk to. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be here, like I said, through Sunday. Sunday's kind of a, a soft close, if you will. Yeah. A lot of people, they want to go home. Like most car shows, the last day of the car show, they want to go home. And and I get it. I've been there. I've been there with my 66 Mustang, and uh, it's time to go. I mean, that guy from West Virginia, he's probably going to want to yeah, exactly. start driving as soon as he can. It's exactly. a long drive. So. And this is his first year being here, and he was excited about it. Of course, we all talked about the weather. It's been just a crazy uh, weather season in Vermont and New York and all over the place pretty much. All, all the country, right? Yeah, thankfully, again, to talk about the place we're staying, once we got in here, it was beautiful and cold. Yeah, yeah. Because it was really hot, really hot this whole week. Yes, it was. So like, yeah. we were out there, you know, five minutes in the sun, and you're drenched in sweat. Yeah. 
And, you know, that's part of the reason why we're in our casual clothes. Yeah. We came home and we all showered and tried to get clean. And uh, it was brutal out there. And then tomorrow it's going to be thunderstorms and rain. So Yeah. But you never know. We'll see how it goes. Yep. I mentioned our booth uh, down on the lower level. We have uh, the booth set up. With, we've got the free T-shirts. and um, this is probably the most giveaways we've had. Yeah, we've got a lot. we got the calendars. We have the koozies. We have the free water. We've got three different kinds of stickers. Exactly. And I mentioned we have the two cars, the 2014 Shelby GT500. Yep. And then the 2022 Dodge Charger with the Hemi, yeah. right? That Hellcat. A wide body. Exactly. It's a wide body. I had the pleasure of driving that. And it's only uh, got oh. four, f 500 miles. Yeah. I was thinking about this on the way down. So we had this car last summer and we did a test drive episode. It's oh, yeah. One of our most viewed videos. Yeah. Uh, we did a video where we took the Charger out and drove it around. And now you've driven it down to Lake George and. Potentially, unless you switch cars, you'll drive it back. Yeah. So now you might have been put, you might put the most miles on that car. <laughs> I would say so. And it's really, get it. you know, it was at seven o'clock this morning, right and early. Yeah. Had to take care of my new puppy. But oh, you got a new puppy. A new puppy, a uh, black lab. Uh, well, she's really not a black lab. Her a father's a black lab. No, she's not a mutt. No, nine hundred dollars. She's not a mutt, Scott. No, no, no. She, not her, that price. her father is a black lab, and her mother is a golden retriever. Oh, that's a good mix. So a they call her a gold, gold debor, gold debor, something like that. Gold yeah, I don't yeah, know, something like that. Yeah. Something that's where I'm at. <laughs> and uh, supposedly she's going to be very smart because the golden retriever and the black labs are pretty smart. Yep. But she's been really, really good. But I had to get up extra early. Normally, she gets up at 7 a.m. She's right. been really good about sleeping all night. She's about 12 weeks old. Well, you had to wake her up. This I, I I did. But I'm moving all around. I'm thinking, okay, she's going to get up. She's been, like I said, great. Doesn't whine at all at night. Uh, likes to chew. Yeah. So got her up around 6 a.m. this morning with me. Had to feed her early. And uh, that went pretty well. Got her in the kennel before I, I left. But it was like 7 a.m. We were going to depart head towards lake george from st albans vermont and our general manager who's great he's always there adam he's he he'll doesn't matter what we night. do he'll be here tomorrow night great great person and a great supporter of sport car usa the creator of sport car usa by Pretty the much, way yeah. adam and he said to me he said you know lee he said we probably should trailer this charger basically be brand new brand new 400 yeah. miles very unique vehicle yeah hard to find and i said adam you know what this vehicle needs to be driven a little bit yeah it really we, does we've had a lot of these in storage too so yeah. they haven't had a lot of time to get out and do like some big drives yeah yeah and it's good for them you know to get into them a little bit mm -hmm. um obviously you don't want to hammer them especially yeah. you know because they're not ours i was told by our parts department manager he's a uh, big scott car guy he's a big car guy and a dodge chrysler guy and he said yeah. lee you know you got to have 500 miles on this vehicle before you can get on it yeah that's the braking period and i think it had like 400 something 422 before we left yeah so you vote you're past the break-in now yeah so when i got to oh i guess it was virgins vermont it tells i got, you right i got on it does, does a thing pop up? Oh, yeah. Says, like, oh, yeah. Past yeah, absolutely. You broke it in. Yeah, yeah. And, and I got to tell you, the... Um, well, that's good for someone that buys it now. They don't have to Yeah, it. it's all just, broken in. There you go. All broken in. But we had a hard time. I had a hard time turning the radio on. Hmm. And as I was driving, it said it needed a major update, some kind of software oh, update. Like a firmware update or yeah. something. Yeah. And it said it was going to take like two hours and 30 minutes. That's the whole drive. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to have a radio... It ended up taking about, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes or so, and it said it's all set. Yeah, but you're probably not having the radio on the whole time anyway. you got to be able to hear that. Exactly. That supercharger, yeah, right? exactly. It was a great, great drive, great morning to do that. Yeah, I was but, just following in my own personal car, and even then it was still fun yeah. to drive through those. Yeah, so we had an entourage. We had the GT500 leading the with way. Dave Burns from Sport Car USA driving it, leading the way. Yep. And I was second with the 2022 Dodge Hellcat Charger. Scott was in back of me. Yep, I was for a little for the second like, yeah. the end of it. So we had our, our big Yukon 
our Yukon Denali that we had, which is also beautiful. That was a presidential vehicle. We yes. called it a presidential vehicle. And that had all of our stuff in it. Yes, it did. T-shirts yes. and our waters. Absolutely. And yeah. That's another thing. Yeah, we're giving away waters. We which, are. Which is good oh, yeah. on a day like that. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Um, And I was driving my... My TRD Camry, and that, even that Which was is fun. really cool. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. fun to drive through those. Yeah, hills. but Route 9N, windy, 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 windy. so road. much fun. Yeah. I text my girlfriend and I said, "We gotta, we gotta, we gotta use this route. We gotta go down this route because you go to, yeah, it, it's like it borders the lake." All yeah. the way. And Lake George is huge. Gorgeous. I never realized how big it was. Yeah. Because we were talking to, I, f- I don't know if we ever got her name, but we were talking to someone at the show, uh, and we were saying, like, oh, we were in this area. Is that Lake George? And she was saying, like, yeah, that's Lake George, and you still had a ways to go before yeah. you even get close to the end of it. But there are a lot of so, cool, like, general stores on the way. I think it's yeah. called Boltonville, uh, yeah. one of the towns we There's went a through. a little, like, village yes. along yes. the way. Yes, And a lot of uh, places that you can stay that are really old fashioned, if you will. Yeah, a lot of these places, um, I mean, especially like thinking about Ticonderoga, it was like a yeah. military, what was it? I don't know which war it would have been. I'm not a big history buff. We weren't alive. Uh, I wasn't. In Ty- oh, you might, you might have been. No, I think wow. it, was, I say, it, was, it was Civil War, right? I think those were like oh, yeah. Civil oh, War. Oh, yeah, I remember it now. Yeah, you got the you got enlisted. Yeah, um, I got a medal. I think a lot of those are like old <laughs> fort buildings. Yeah, it's so cool. A lot of brick and con- yeah, you yeah. know, brick buildings. Yeah, and the Adirondacks cool. is very rural, and we live in Vermont. Of course, we, we have the, the Green Mountains, mm-hmm. but you can see across Lake Champlain the Adirondacks. And they're beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, and just we like were, you said, driving through. I can't remember where it was that we were driving through, and it may have been before I like met up with you guys. But I was driving through one area. There's just all these farmlands, and there was just this heavy fog. Oh, yeah. I was sitting in all these valleys, and I was like, oh, I wish I could stop and get the drone in the air Yeah, get yeah. the camera out. But, you know, we got to yeah. get down here. Exactly, exactly. So we got down here. We mentioned we got a couple uh, other people coming tomorrow from Sport Car USA. Yep. We're very excited. Hopefully the weather's going to be okay. It's been just one of those years. Uh, yeah. If you're listening to this podcast, we hope that you can stop by and see us. We're giving away a lot of free swags and a swag, I should say. Yep. And uh, it's just going to be a fun, fun event. Everybody, it's just something great about these types of shows where everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's in a good mood. And I it's mean, fun. there's just something about automobiles that bring joy to so many people. Well, even just hearing them rip, oh, without yeah. seeing them, yeah. you get a little smile on your whether face. Whether it's something that you grew up with, whether it's something that your dad or your grandfather had, yep. they're all here. Yep. I mean, this is a huge show. Like, yeah, like I said, you can't see everything. You can't. There's no way. Not in one day, anyway. You got to come for exactly. the whole weekend and exactly. really see everything in detail. Yeah. yeah, and Lake George is such a cool town. They've got uh, last year after the show, it was a Sunday morning, and again, things really quiet down. We went to this old diner, and I say old. I, it, it must be from 1950. I don't know. But a little hole in the wall. Yeah, spot. exactly. Yeah. The woman who greeted us, I swear she was the owner from day one. You know, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, uh, mean or anything, but she looked like she was like 90 something years old and she could have been the original. Owner. I really think she was. Yep. And that's not being mean. It's just saying, you know, she could be the original owner. That stuff's cool, though. Lovely like lady. A, you know, small yeah. Town sort of like. Yeah. She owned. seated us. And there was the old radios, the old TVs, huh. you name it. It was there from 1950 and on up. And we just had a wonderful breakfast there. Uh, looking forward to doing that again this Sunday, by the way. I can't tell you what the name of the diner is. Maybe the next uh, podcast, I'll let you know about that. But Brought it's, back a it, lot of memories. It's, of yeah, course. exactly. It's just such a wonderful town. From your just, Well, no, no, no. Boy, you're really getting me today, aren't you, Scott? Uh. Scott Nickerson, who used to be a co-host of Sport Car USA <laughs> yeah, former, podcast, former yeah, co-host. exactly. He's been fired tonight. <laughs> but no, if, if Lake George is just a, a great resort town, yeah, it's it's. I really want to come back here, yeah, on my own and stay yeah. at a place like this and just be able to do nothing. And they also have the Great Escape, which is just yeah, down just the road. Down the road, it's a uh, fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, great. To, of course, there's Lake George. There's. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I think it's a steamboat, but there's boat tours. Yeah. You can rent boats. We were thinking about renting a pontoon boat. Yeah, on our general manager's dime. 
Yes, thank you. So thanks, again. Adam. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but there's lots to do here. There is. And there it's is. It's a good weekend to come for the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely book in advance. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't book this place because we're going to be booking it. We're, again. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're putting our name absolutely. in there. <laughs> yes, yes. So let's recap a little bit, Scott. Here today it was setup day for most people. Uh, we were there from noon to five, just greeting some people. But again, mostly it was setup day. Yep. The vendors, the snack bars, if you will, and um, it was a, a fun day today. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day. Oh yeah. Starting at eight a.m. We'll be out there with the T-shirts and so whatnot probably, to give away. Probably till five but, or six. Or yeah. So. But what I like about Friday is how the cars roll in. Now, okay. they're rolling in tonight, but tomorrow they're going to really roll in. They'll really fill out the rest of that oh, yeah. field and yeah. even up above, too. Yeah, because so. if you've seen where we are located, there is a big field, yep. as you mentioned, right in front of us. And I remember last year being here, and uh, I was trying to imagine – if the field in front of us was going to be filled with cars, because up above, that's that's where the main attraction is, if you yeah. will. Down below, I'm thinking, okay, there's going to be a few stragglers here and there, but they filled it up big time. Good turnout, yeah. Yeah. So hoping and, for the best again this absolutely, year. Absolutely, yep, but. yep. And I think maybe downtown, or excuse me, not downtown, but down below where we are, they had that wine spritzer. I think yeah. that had a lot to do with people wanting to be down there. Yeah, it was very popular. It was very delicious. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we're going to be here tomorrow. We're going to be here on Saturday and then Sunday we shall depart. Yep. Anything else you want to add, Scott? Don't think so. I think just uh, keep an eye out next week for some interviews with some cool car co- cars and people. Yeah, we're having a good time tonight time and uh, we're going to get a little dinner and then yep. watch a little football, the yes. kickoff of the season between Detroit and Kansas City. And then we'll be rare to go tomorrow morning. Bright and early. All right. Thank you, everybody. Scott Nickerson from Sport Car USA. I'm Lee Bodette, your host. We appreciate you watching these podcasts every single week. Podcast number 27. 27. We've got many more to go. Yep. Thanks again from Lake George. Lee Bodette from podcast number 27, our test drive series. Thank you so much for listening and viewing. Have a great night.